the last time that I actually vlogged when the sun was out. It's Tuesday. It's about tw what time is it? 12 something p.m. Uh, 12.39 p.m. I actually should have been out and about earlier, but um, I was trying. I was still tired so when I woke up, so I was trying to get in a little bit more sleep before I got up and went out and did stuff, but I just laid there, tired, but not falling asleep. It was so frustrating. I said, you know what? Fine, body. We're getting the fuck up. So I got up. I have to run a couple errands. I am on the way to the post office first. I have all the sub gift packages ready to go. Um, I did miss a couple of recent ones within the last couple days because I need to get some more um, either print or make or whatever the fuck I have to get some more sub gifts together. Plus these are supposed to be for February anyways. A couple of March ones slipped in there because I hadn't gone to the post office yet but I'm going to um, the, there's some other March subbies that I, I'm going to do uh, next month. I'll ship them out next month when I get back from my trip. So anyways, here we go. It's now 2.30, 2.40 p.m. Um, the post office took quite some time. <clears throat> I sent out eight international packs, gift bags, um, and I had four, five for in the U.S. The ones in the U.S. were very easy to send. Uh, the, I, I'm familiar with the address format, so I was able to fill out, you know, write the addresses and give it to them and they are able to mail them out. The ones for the outside of the US, each one of them needs their own customs forms. So I had to go through and fill those out. <clears throat> and then the post office lady went through each one to do her side of the paper fill out and put the stamps and everything on there and mail them out. Total, <clears throat> took over an hour. <laughs> I think I said it was about 12.40 when I left. When I, fr I think it was around 12.40 when I um, first filmed or, you know, vlogged and left to go to the post office. And then, yeah, now it's about 2.40 now. Um, so two hours later, and I, I went to, I think the post office took about an hour and then I went to Walmart. <clears throat> That whole time wasn't just the post office. I went to Walmart and I picked up a few things I needed. Um, I found a shirt that I liked and I got a couple of uh, things like shampoo, things that I needed. So, picked those up as well. <clears throat> as for the pricing for everything, so for the in the US packages, they range from a little over $3 to a little over $4. So, between $3 and $5 for, for each. Uh, sub gift for the US. For outside of the US, each one was $14.25. So the total for all the packages this time was uh, like $114 for the outside of the US ones and then the inside of the US was about about $15 this time. It's a huge chunk of money right now but in the future months they shouldn't be this bad because i shouldn't have this many packages to send out all at once like for example uh so far for march i should well some of them went with the this group some of the packages went out with this group <clears throat> but the the rest that i haven't sent out and future subs there might be only four that i'll have to send out maybe and i don't i think maybe one of those will be outside of the us so sending out the sub gifts in the future won't be a problem it's just the huge batch of them currently to catch up with right now is a lot of money <laughs> luckily <clears throat> with the move and going to my parents place it actually it was totally fine for me because i don't have rent to pay so moving to my parents' place did help out with this and will help out with TwitchCon and making gifts for you guys then and you know, so on and so forth. And also making the two year gift for you guys. The two year gift will be the big money one. That one I will make as the big, big money one. So the two year gift um, will be a surprise. I, I won't 
spoil it yet. We only have a couple of people that are about to hit the two year mark. I will let them get it first. And one of those being Cookie, and Cookie already knows because he helped me come up with the idea. He mentioned it and I was like, oh, that would be a great idea for a two year sub gift. So, but I am going to design up and create the uh, two year sub gifts. That one will probably be a lot more to ship out, but that's for people who hit two years. I feel like that's worth it. You know, you're <clears throat> people who hit one year have to wait a whole year to sub to get another gift. I think the gift will be worth for the people that will end up getting them. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, three, it didn't matter what amount it was for the outside of the US, the international packages. It didn't matter what month you were. Every, I had some uh, sub gifts for three months and some all the way to the 12 month, one year package gift packs and the cost to mail those were all the same so that didn't really matter so mailing out the international ones it didn't matter what month it was you guys were each one was fourteen dollars and 25 cents again that's not bad individually that's great it's just when i have to mail out eight of them at once and it equals 114 dollars that's a little bit of an oof but it, it's it's really fine for now and it will be more better in the future because i won't have to spend that much I have this red mark on my neck because I scratched it, god dang it. <laughs> now I'm at my storage unit. I'll take the camera with me. I gotta move some boxes around. I gotta look for some stuff. I gotta grab my, for sure I wanna grab my, um, I need to grab my suitcase for my trip. Uh, this is the only time I'll really have a chance to go and grab it. So I need to grab the suitcase. Uh, and since I'm here, I'm gonna try and look for some stuff like some of my figures, some of my, you know, the non-essential stuff. I want to see if I no I can deal with my makeup safe stuff later because especially since I'm I packed all my makeup into like little travel kits to move and I might as well just leave that be for now I could fit more makeup at the new um, at my parents place but since I'm going on the trip to see cookie next week anyways I might as well just leave that and do it another time because I don't need it right now anyways so I'll leave that be but I should get I should try I'm gonna try to look for the onesies um, yeah, and some figure stuff. Oh, I need to grab some, yeah, I need to grab some art paper. <clears throat> My throat is just, lately has just been so clogged up with mucus. It's so nasty. I don't know what the fuck. Oh God, it's been so irritating. I have like a mucinex or mucus uh, pills. I need to start taking those more often. I bought them and then I completely forget to take them. <laughs> so let's go get some stuff for my storage unit. Okay, all done with the storage unit. I ended up not getting as many things as I wanted to. I realized one of the reasons why is because my TV, uh, my big screen TV doesn't have legs to sit on. So it's just leaning up against things in the storage unit. So I don't want to fuck with that while um, by myself because I don't know if it's gonna fall over. That's the last thing I need to have to replace. It's one of the <laughs> one of the more expensive things that I own. So <clears throat> I am not going to mess with the boxes a whole lot. It's um, if you saw, there's a bunch of stuff, and then up in the front of all that stuff, 
Like everything is pushed back into the back of the storage unit as much as possible. And in the front leaning up against all those things is the TV. This, the TV, I don't know where the legs are. So if I found the legs, that'd be great. But I, and I can't lift that thing by myself. It's way too heavy. So I have to wait uh, until I can get someone in there and we can go through the boxes a little bit more. I went through some of the boxes, but I didn't want to move a whole lot of the boxes holding that TV up. So I'm gonna leave that for now. I don't need the onesies. Sorry, chat, but we're gonna have to deal with stream bosses without onesies. How about this? I'll replace onesies with double shots. <laughs> I don't know, I, I'll figure something out to replace the onesies for now. But okay, I'm heading back home. I have so much to do. <laughs> to record my haul real quick so I'm using my phone so just really quickly I have my new iPad screen protector it's got paper texture feels and writes like paper I don't know I thought it would help with my drawing stuff so I'll put that on and show you how that goes later then I got a new top but I don't think I'm gonna keep it I tried it on and it was kind of meh not as good as I thought it was gonna be I might keep it I might return it I needed a tire gauge thing for my car tires um, got some more pens I like these pens a lot they don't bleed through the paper and they're nice thick color lines really good pens and then I got some more shampoo and conditioner it's now about 8 p.m. Still Tuesday. I'm getting some other stuff done. I took a nap. <laughs> I, I fell asleep for a little bit. Then my parents ordered some Thai food and we had some dinner. Um, I've been watching Johnny. Johnny Boy Creates all day. Hi, Johnny. So I have him playing in the background while I get some stuff done. Funny guy, really funny guy, really good streamer. <laughs> So since it's 8 p.m. I am going to do a couple things here. I need to also get my pre-workout ready. Um, take that in about a half hour and then I'm going to the gym later on. Um, what else? In the meantime, in between all that, I'm going to work on like updating my planner. Um, you know, obviously vlogging a little bit and uh, I need to put the new screen protector on my iPad. I don't know what else. I think that's it, really. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Should I? I should probably see about taking some stuff to the storage unit. My parents want me to take, I have like a couple of boxes. They're heavy though. I don't know, maybe I, I don't wanna. <laughs> but I, I don't know, maybe I, I'll see about doing that. But that's, you know, when I leave for the gym. So yeah, I'm gonna just put the camera down and do some work. Like only one building that we searched. Mm -hmm. That was searched over there. I wonder if I should take the iPad. Yeah, I should probably take the iPad out. Yeah, How do I take this out? Somebody the thing is, like, shoot. this screen protector I have on my iPad right now is really good. It's just... Okay, come on. Okay. I also need to charge the, um, the, what's it called, the keyboard I have. God, I forgot how light this thing really is. <clears throat> okay, so let's 
remove this one, which again, it kind of sucks because this, like I said, this is a really good screen protector, yeah. but Hold on. oh All well. Right. feels this actually the old screen protector actually feels so good maybe i should turn johnny down a little bit more i'm gonna turn johnny down a little bit more i don't know how bad it's affecting the uh audio but i know that's a little loud isn't it <laughs> it feels nice and thick and i mean it doesn't really matter it's it's yeah. moot it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. When you try drawing on a glass surface with a very similar textured um, pen, pencil, the Apple Pencil, it causes a lot of, it's, you would think it'd be good, but it actually doesn't translate well when you're drawing. So having a paper texture would be a lot better which is why I bought this one. <clears throat> when I first got my iPad, they didn't have matte textured, just like, they didn't have matte textured um, screen protectors. So that's why I never, I didn't get one the first time around. One of the problems I had with the last screen protector is that lint got underneath it so easily. Like, uh, when I put it on, when I first put it on, there was lint everywhere. Well, not everywhere, there was a couple pieces. And that bugged the shit out of me. So, that was another reason why I really wanted to replace it. What are you? So little little tiny things of lint underneath the screen protector caused like these little bubbles and I did not enjoy that at all. But I think with this one it comes with instructions. It's got like a sticky sheet, like this is just like a sticker sheet. And I think it's supposed to help remove all the dust and lint off first and then you put it on. But let's see, there's like seven steps on these instructions just to install this wipe your screen completely clean with the microfiber cloth okay they have their own cloth so i'm going to use that cloth now so we're wiping it completely clean you know i have like 10 of these cloths now by the way just between having glasses and different things that i've bought like this remove the backing of the dust i'm assuming this okay so it says remove the backing of the dust isolation sheet and attach it to your screen what oh okay i think i get it oh okay so but we do want to put it sticky side down right that doesn't actually say says remove the backing and put it on the thing so this is just like a giant sticker sheet this is really difficult <laughs> this is actually really difficult Okay, good enough. <laughs> good. Start from the edge you want to install the protector from. Roll back the dust isolation sheet so that it sticks to itself. This allows you to roll it off the screen slowly as you install the screen protector. Kind of yikes. Um, ooh, look at the bubbles. Wait, did it even come with a thing? It didn't come with a thing. It, usually these things come with like a scraper. To get the air bubbles out. I thought I still had one. I knew I still had one. It's supposed to be like an air pocket scraper so it gets the bubbles out. This isn't the actual cover so there's no point in me doing this but you know I'm just 
playing around with the air bubbles at this point. <laughs> Cause it's kind of fun. <laughs> I don't know, I like fucking with air bubbles, but getting the air bubbles out and all that, so. But anyways, okay, so now it wants me to roll back the edge. Wait, do I wanna start on this edge or do I wanna start on this edge? What would be better? Probably this edge. This fits exactly. I need to make sure I do it exactly. Oh my God, the pressure. Like, am I the only one that gets anxious about this? So, then I should probably rotate it around because <clears throat> it's got a pull tab here for me to pull the thing back. Yeah, okay, all right, let's. So, it wants me to roll back this dust protector. Air, uh, uh, separator uh, isolation thing I don't know so that it sticks to itself like that and then I'm supposed to peel oh I almost thought there wasn't a backing on this I kept pulling on this tab and just the tab was coming up oh my god focus Okay, well, that's the best. It's oh, there we go. <laughs> but I kept pulling on the tab, but I kept pulling the tab only. And I thought, wait, is there no backing for this? This isn't like the thing. Okay, so, but there is. It's just, I gotta peel it up. It's not as simple as they make it seem to be. <clears throat> and the next trick is to not touch it. <laughs> this gives me so much anxiety doing these. I feel incredibly anxious doing this right now because I feel like you get one shot, you know? You get- motherfucker! Could we not? Just want to be able to hold it like this so that I can line up the edges easily. Well, easier, I would assume. Okay. All right, not bad, not bad. First try. Get these air bubbles out now. It's not completely centered, but that is okay. I'm okay with that. It's off on the edge of the top. It's a little bit low, but hey, look. Hey, hey, look that. Trying to make sure I don't cover the mic here again, like I usually do. But anyways, so now that it's a matte finish, let's see. 